Okay. Here's my attempt at recording this episode of True Life. There will be some commercial breaks. Sorry about that. I think this will start soon. Here we go. To grow your diversity from software programming specialization, you learn some of the most in demand coding languages like C plus plus and Java, so you learn the skills you need for your future. The Grind University, different on purpose. Visit the Grind at EDU slash T. Imagine how difficult life would be if you had trouble introducing yourself. I am. Calling to order a pizza. D D D. Or simply asking for directions. Do you know how to sit? But such routine tasks can be overwhelming experiences for the estimated three million Americans who stutter. In this episode of True Life, you'll meet three young people trying to overcome their problems with language. Just so they can live normal lives. I'm trying to find a place that's just going to be for the front entry. Jim stuttering is so severe that it's prevented him from getting a decent job. That's. He's about to get addicted to his apartment. There's no more time. You have to get this paid. Will Tim finally be able to convince an employer to give him a chance? You, you, know, you think that my speech is going to be a, um, a problem? Jess hopes her stutter won't keep her from becoming a beauty queen. I was able to show everyone that <laughs> She's won a few small crowns so far, but has her heart set on becoming Miss New York and qualifying for the Miss America pageant. If I watched her mother and home for the pack, I wouldn't be happy with who I was. We'll just be able to show the judges she can speak perfectly to be the winner. Karen has been her entire life hiding her stutter from family and friends. Is that her? No. But now she's tired of maintaining the deception and is enrolling in an intensive speech program. Will therapy finally help Karen come to terms with who she is? Can they succeed in spite of it? I did not vote for life. Sorry. <laughs> Find out next on True Life, I Stuck. <laughs> She does a lot, which I don't know how she does it. I do notice the effort that they put out. My hair is probably my mom. Definitely my parents. I really look up to them. But deliver this baby. They're on a mission to find her flock. Let's rock this. But first, they have to get past one pigeon. Have you seen a snack? Two wolves are going to eat you. And 397 penguins. Put down that baby! <laughs> Storms, rated PG, September 23rd. Ah, uh, a classic case of whodunit. Luckily, J2's trident to help clean and protect his teeth. So he can claim his innocence with a convincing grin. That's it, Jay. They'll never know. Trident, cherish your teeth. Um, okay, this is for 
This is for D D D D D my name is Tim, and I am in grad school for speech pathology at West Virginia University. And I have a really severe stutter. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, how's it going? Are you going to come to class, or oh, I'm just asking? I certainly hope we <laughs> don't have to um, get up and um, talk. I don't have control over my words. It's just a bias around my neck. Hello, how's it going? We need for you to, each of you, introduce yourselves. I'm Kelsey. I'm from Hedgesville. My name is Kayla. I'm from Morgantown. All right, um, my, 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 uh, um, you know, name is I'm from um, I mean, near um, Washington, um, DC, and uh, and yeah, um, sorry, we'll have a break now. That's uh. I have st stuttered for my whole life. My childhood was hard. I was really a loner. When I was 16, I went to a very intensive speech therapy program. They taught me to talk like this. I was so happy. But at one point, someone began to make fun of me. At the very second, I stopped using my techniques. And from that point on, nothing seemed to work. This is telling me that my rent is overdue. One of the biggest problems that I'm facing is that I cannot get a well-paying job. I definitely need a job to pay these bills. I just took out 15,000 bucks in loans to pay for a school. <laughs> but I need to get a job to cover my living expenses. Hi, I um um I um, um, I I this is a dumb one. got this on I um I'm a door door. Better lubrication? We have Trojan Blue Condoms with special channels designed to keep lubricant in place two times better. Trojan, the pleasure of protection. Those who come out, we welcome you in. Everyone deserves to be in good hands. You don't expect anything out of the ordinary to happen, but that day, everything changed. On September 30th, director Tim Burton invites you to a place. We have a snow has peculiar. Where anything is possible. My dad said that everything had already been discovered. Not everything, Jake. It's time for you to learn what you can do. With Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children in theater September 30th.
Dear Diary, it's sort of a funny story. Two months ago, I met Jack, ding dong, and we got on very well. And then the next week, Hello. my ex and I had similar relations, and that was how I learned that I'm pregnant. <laughs> Everything is completely under control. Oh, God. Who's the father? Oh, God. Yeah, don't think you like me. Oh, God. Richard, I'd like to meet Jack. Oh. Why are you wearing this rid of this man before? He's brilliant. Oh, my. Rated R, September 16th. The right side can really make a great entrance. <laughs> I really should practice more. Get back to school with the best ten. Hi. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I'm Christina. I am Jen. It's nice to meet you. I'll see you. All right. Bye. I totally changed her name, and that's going to be so embarrassing because I'm going to see her every single week, and now I either have to pretend that that is my name, or at some point she's going to find out that I changed my name, which is really weird. <laughs> my name is Karen. I am a covert stutter. Hey, guys. <laughs> I am embarrassed that I stutter, and I try to hide the fact that I stutter. It was good. I came from um, one that was really good. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> Nothing. You have to know. I have to go to class, but I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. I've been pretty successful with covering up my stutter. But it seems to be getting worse, and I'm finding it harder every day to pretend that it's not there. I started stuttering when I was in the third grade. It wasn't a bad stutter, but it still made me really embarrassed. As I grew older, I found new ways to cover up my stuttering. But it's always on my mind, and it's a constant struggle. I want it to be over. I found a stuttering intensive program that's supposed to improve your speech. I'm glad my dad's here, so he can support me. Erin is always keeping her stuttering, even from us. We want her to feel comfortable with her fluency. So um, we're going to give this a shot and hope it works. In the past, me and my dad have always disagreed of why I do stutter. He thinks that it's based on stress. I have a little bit of paperwork for you to fill out. What is it like against me? My feelings about stuttering and my thoughts about stuttering. It hurts me that he thinks that it's something that I could not do if I just really tried. It has nothing to do with actually how I stutter. This is how I feel about my stuttering. No, you too. You are not. Mm -hmm. I usually start these appointments by asking, you guys, what you know about stuttering. Bruce, if you don't mind me asking you, what do you know about stuttering? It seems to me that, you know, everyone deals with stress and tension in a different way, and it just happens that Karen, you know, is predisposed to kind of focus her tension on her vocal cords. If stuttering was directly correlated with stress, and we'd have a lot more stutterers in our world, do you feel like it's a psychological issue? there's something that's not going correctly when I try to speak. But at the same time, I feel like I have more trouble when I speak with my dad, for example, than someone else. That happens with a lot of people, that it can be situational. Hopefully I can get mine completely under control. Or maybe you can just become completely comfortable with it. I don't know if I'll ever be completely comfortable. I have faith. Okay. <laughs> I really want this program to work because I can't live my life the way I'm trying to do it now. I have the script for every situation. I Being a mother is the hardest job ever. That's me, nothing. Doing the bass horns. <laughs> I'm glad that I don't have to do. I do look up to them.
Thank you, Mom, for giving me hugs. We're here with Mom and my mom. Definitely my parents. I do notice the effort that they put out. They're probably my biggest inspirations. I really look up to them. Do not do that face. Uh huh. I don't want to know. My hair is holding my mom. She can live a 10 pound weight. In a big world, there's a big level, level adventures. I look so good. I don't think anyone will ever say anything about how we talk about it. I gotta put on my crown. My name is Janice Jessica. I'm currently in Western New York. My goal is to be Miss New York. I'm trying to find the food for people. So I'm sorry, the food for people. The first floor or front entrance? Oh, okay, to the hospital. Yeah, thank you very much. I have a fast butter, but I'm not on the high end for holding fast from my souls and my dreams. Hi, Sabrina. I feel that people think butterers can't be as close to the model for anything. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. It is? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> How do you know it's me? Oh. <laughs> I want to show people that that's not true at all. It was hard throwing up stuttering. Kids would just make fun of me. They would always say, get it out. So it was hard with my tears to fit in. When I was in ninth grade, I was introduced to pageantry. In the first pageant, I was so nervous to talk on stage, but I just tried it. And even though I still got muttered, I got some of the first one harder up, and I have been competing in pageants ever since. This is my crown that I just won. Six months ago, I was crowned Miss Western New York. I feel qualified by me to compete in this new York. I love this crown with everything I do. And I can't believe it's actually happening soon. So much soon. I think that the beauty comes natural. You have a presence on the stage, but at the same time, you have a, you have a disadvantage. So now you have to overcome not only going into the competition, but you have to overcome the stuttering. Mm. And that's tough. I feel I was judged so much harder because they don't know if it's okay for a student to go in. You're going to great. I just need everyone to understand that just because I stood in the header, it does not mean that I don't deserve this title. Hey! My biggest concern is when I have to answer the questions from the judges. Are these judges going to think anything differently of me, or is someone in the audience ooh, 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 ooh? laughing at me? So you stutter. That's that's nothing. I, I mean, know. I mean, you have. Yeah, but I know this. I know. You tend to really focus and try and care, and so everybody feels that. So pageants weren't important. It would be easier for me to win, basically. But they are so important. Concentrate on what you're saying and how you want to get your ideas across. When you're answering an on-stage question, you should be thinking about the answer and putting it across, not thinking, what does that person think? The more I practice, the better I'll be. I just hope it's not to impress the judges. I hit my son for so long that I never really like face my bad response to it. I'm Michelle, and this is Ziggy, and we tried Purina 1 Tender Selects Blend. The first one was Southern Variety of Textures. I thought this is not just your ordinary cat food. 
Ziggy loves the tender and crunchy pieces. She loves mealtime now and just comes running whenever she hears her food bag open. Ziggy's always been in great health, um, but now she's just a little more energetic and much happier. I'm glad we tried it because Ziggy loves it so much. There are still sunrises, faraway stars, and little surprises. There are moments to cherish and worlds to explore. Because there's a lot of life out there that's still waiting to be lived. Let's suppose that you're writing a really important email to a colleague. Or a post on Facebook that all your friends will see. Or a paper for your English class that you just have to get an A on. Or a resume for you. Ford F-Series has been the number one selling truck in America for 39 straight years, and Harper Ford has it. Whatever industry you're in, Harper Ford has it. A special edition of Gambit hits the newsstands later today. Their annual... Ready for dinner? Since I decided to go to a stuttering intensive program, I'm beginning to get more open with my family about the fact that I do stutter. Do you really think that everyone's just telling you going to start stuttering after three weeks? I don't think that's possible. Well, no, but I think that I want to become more comfortable with my stuttering and be able to talk about it or tell people about it. I hate to think, you know, that you, you stutter more when you're talking to us because you think you judge me harshly or something. If I knew that everyone else felt that it was okay, I think I would be more okay with it. You know, to be able to tell people that. It's like, it's not a big deal. It's not like a terrible thing that anyone should hide. Do what makes you there? I'm just thinking, you know, like, I'm on my way to the first day of speech therapy. I'm feeling really nervous about it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm on in here and have a speech. Congratulations for making a decision it was time that you really wanted to do do this work. This afternoon, you're going to get on telephones. We're going to get into this notion of self-advertising, letting people know you may stutter. Oh, were you kidding me? I actually, I knew that everyone else felt that it was okay. I think I would be more okay with it. You know, to be able to tell people that. It's, like, it's not a big deal. It's not like a terrible thing that anyone should hide. Do what makes you... I'm on my way to the first day of speech therapy. I'm feeling really nervous about it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm on my way to the first day of speech therapy. I'm feeling really nervous about it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm on right here in that speech. Congratulations for making a decision it was time that you really wanted to do, do this work. This afternoon, you're going to get on telephones. We're going to get into this notion of self-advertising, letting people know you may stutter. Oh, were you kidding me?
I actually would like for you all to follow me into my office. I'm going to demonstrate on the speakerphone. Okay. Yes. Hi. Hi. My my name is Catherine, and and as, as you can hear, I stutter sometimes. So, so, so just hang in there. Thank you. This is what I fear the most, and this is what I've hid from for so long, and I can't believe that I have to do this. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it makes me nervous that you're standing here. <laughs> yeah, hi, my name is um, Karen, and I just wanted to let you know that I stutter. Um, just so, I just wanted to let you know that I stutter so you can just. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> See? She got in there. <laughs> Shit, she's not afraid of it. Don't cry. Don't leave. I'm trying to cry if I talk about it. Um, I don't know. I just I never feel like you dealt with that before, I guess. I guess I just hid my son in for so long that. I never really like faced a bad response to it. These are the experiences that, that contribute to the shutting down. And you just want to say, I'm just going to do this anyway. I'm going to do it again and again and again. This is a key to your freedom. I hope so. Not truly. It was definitely worse than I thought my first day would be. I don't really see how doing something that I'm so afraid of will help me to stutter less. But I guess I just have to keep hoping that in the end everything will be worth it. Preparing for magic is definitely a full-time job. You got some legs today. Going to the gym. This is hard. Come on. I don't care. Come on. Hi. Going to come back to your talents. One, two, three. And five, six, seven, eight. You have it. You have such great natural ability. Hi, Cindy. I'm here for my appointment. <laughs> okay. Good to see you again, Jessica. I go twice a week just for great therapy. Practicing my speech is a huge part of the pageant. We go over everything that I know I will have to say. Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. You make it seem so easy. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. Help me out. Ready? Let's get the air going. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> Hello everyone. My name is Hang in there, keep going. Don't give up on staying in there. Jessica Miss Miss Hang in there. It's okay. Don't give up on it. Hang in there. Miss I can't when I'm already in there though. Instead of saying where I'm blocking, change it to uh, 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 Western New York. Mm -hmm. Miss Western New York 2000. Okay, good. We'll be doing some more practice too, I think. And, uh, we're ready to go. Miss New York. Ah! And I'm in therapy. Good luck. See it. It's a lot easier for me to st stop and just ask for help. But when I'm up on stage, I don't have that. Hopefully, it will come out the way I want it to. Do you have any um, <laughs> jobs? I'm Michelle, and this is Ziggy, and we tried Purina One Penis Lex Blend. The first time I saw the variety of textures, I thought this is not just your ordinary cat food. Ziggy loves the tender and crunchy pieces. 
She loves mealtime now and just comes running whenever she hears her food bag open. Ziggy's always been in great health, um, but now she's just a little more energetic and much happier. I'm glad we tried it because Ziggy loves it so much. It's obvious that investing is laden with risks. What can investors do about this? By adopting a long-term view. There was a time in MMA when the only way She spent summer binge watching. Soon, she'll be binge studying Get back to grade. This week, 50% off all backpacks, Office Depot office maps, gear up for school, gear up for great. Fridge looks pretty much empty. It's almost the end of the month and I haven't been able to pay my rent. I don't even have enough money to pay for food. That cannot be healthy. Which is quite sad. I need to get a good job seeing if there's more mold and stuff on the bread. I want to become a bartender or a server where you make a lot of money and tips. I can't keep living this way. I have to start calling places for jobs. I'm even starting to shake right now because I'm so scared. Do uh, you have do um you have um do you have um any um do you have any um jobs? Jobs? Yeah. Um. Do you have and do you have um any um jobs opening? My speech is really bad today. I'm going to go ask my friend to make some phone calls for me. Hey, can you do me a favor, please? Would you mind making some calls for me, please? No, I'm help you. Do you have any openings available for a server or a bartender? I'm going to fill out an application and speak with the manager if you like. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. I try, try so hard not to get scared. I try so hard to talk fine and for all that work to, um, to um, me, it, 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 it just really ticks me off sometimes. I'm going to go down there, hopefully they see past my sister's stuttering. I can't wait any longer to get a job. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Jessica. I'm Jessica Myers. Hi, I am at the National Stuttering Association Conference. This is your first convention? Yes, it is. Is it for you? Um, I've been to this for eight. It's on my attitude a lot. I'm hoping that this will help me learn my pageant because I will have the opportunity to hear about how the other stutters handle their stuttering. And what I've always thought is an individual who stutters is very compassionate. I feel like when you stutter, you have to be honest too. You can't hide it and you no, can't like lie or be yeah. behind anything. I think it's very true. I think you're very sensitive, very sincere, very compassionate. It's just who we are. Want to go that way so we can keep Yeah, we'll go to bed.
I would have wanted to know if you had, if you noticed anything that I could do to improve. Think, think of the worst possible thing that could happen is that, oh wow, I might totter in the situation, and if you give yourself permission to totter in that situation, then it's not as bad. So what you're telling me is to get used to it and make sure that it's okay even if I do stutter. And not try so hard to work on the techniques, but accept the fact that I stutter and make it not a big deal. I never thought to say to myself that I'm a stutter, and it's okay. It's, they probably just changed my life a lot in so many different ways. Thanks again. I love you. I know I feel totally prepared that I'm going to go up on stage showing them that I am a sucker and that it is okay and I am happy with that. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know that I stutter sometimes. We come from a country where we inspire so many people by There are still sunrises, far away stars. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. My patent and fill adjusts to your exact individual needs. Just me. It's now the last week of my intensive treatment program, and I feel like I'm making a lot of progress. At this point, I would kind of like for you just to be more comfortable stuttering openly. How about friends? Don't talk to them too much about it. Name two friends that you haven't talked too much about this. I'm going to name all of my friends that I haven't talked much about it with. You gotta start opening lines of communication with people. You gotta liberate yourself. It's time. It's hard. <laughs> you have to. You have no choice. I'm on my way to meet my friends, Pam and Nikki. Catherine told me that I had to talk to my friends about my stuttering. I didn't think I was going to get scared, but I just got a little nervous. Hey, guys. I miss you. <laughs> well, I know, like, we've been friends for a while now, but there's something that... I guess I'd like to get out there in the open. I don't really know how much you know, but um, I do stutter, and it's weird, I guess, to talk to you guys about it, because the more that I have to hide it from you guys, the harder it gets to talk about it, because I've been hiding it for so long. I did notice what, a little bit, because just some of the words, because we interacted a lot together. Yeah. I was talking together and stuff like that, but obviously it was nothing that I would feel comfortable bringing up or talking about. Was it weird for you, like, when I did stutter to, like... I don't know, hear it? Or, like, did that make you feel uncomfortable? No, I, I didn't feel uncomfortable at all with you. And I would just listen and, yeah, yeah I mean, the words come out. And That's why you're a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I would say 95% of the people have no idea that you stutter. Everyone has flaws. It just so happens that yours are verbal. I guess, like, the fact that I didn't say anything made it, like, a big, um, elephant in the room. Like, we both knew it was there, but, like, neither of us said anything. I feel a lot better about everything. <laughs> but, uh, we love you. Thanks. <laughs> it's better without me. <laughs>
I now realize the less I try to hide my that I didn't say anything made it like a big um, elephant in the room. We both knew it was there, but like neither of us said anything. They feel a lot better. Has flaws, which just so happens that yours are verbal. I guess like the fact that I didn't say anything made it like a big um, elephant in the room. We both knew it was there, but like neither of us said anything. They feel a lot better about everything. <laughs> I now realize the less I try to hide my stutter, the better I feel about it. Oh, I'm exhausted. I've come so far in the past three weeks, and I'm really ready to show my parents I'm now okay with how I sound. Play back all that. Love you. Thanks. I'm going to my coach's house to practice the interview part of the pageant. They're just going to ask me some questions to see um, if I can answer them comfortably. Bye. Let's get the show on the road. What can young girls learn from pageants? I feel that pageantry has helped me and myself at a young age because it, it helps me think confidence what who I am. And because of my studying, I was able to show everyone that public speaking is a huge part in my life that I want to accomplish in, in everything. <laughs> One more time. What is integrity? Okay, this is really good because I cannot do you this. You have to keep going. I cannot do this. Okay. Yes, you can. No, I'm not saying I can't do it now. I'm saying I cannot do this on credit. So this is really good that's happening now. And if I better get like way out of there. It can't happen again. Then let's not have it happen the rest of the night. Let's just keep going. How would you promote your platform? I'm willing to voice my stuttering to everyone to help others understand what stuttering actually is and what it's about. Your answers were very good. A few words you got hung up on. So it was good? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Tonight, it was a block interview, so I had the option of walking away or asking for help. The pageant is two weeks away, and I still feel I have a lot of work to do. I really want to win this time. Hello, everyone. I am here to My name is Emma. I am 15. Um, I was bullied all through middle school. She spent summer binge watching. Soon, she'll be binge studying. Now she writes mostly in emoji. Soon, she'll type the best essays in the entire eighth grade. Today, the only Spanish words he knows are burrito and enchilada. Soon, he'll take notes and know Espanol. Get back to grade with the right gear. From the place with the experts, Office Depot Office Max. Gear up for school. Gear up for great. Death isn't complicated. Death just swears you get flipped off. Who are you? I got an opportunity. Who are you? I'm okay. We're doing the world to serve us. You have no idea who your husband is. Quarry, September 9th at 10 9 Central, only on Cinemax. If you had asked me three weeks ago to give a speech, I would have said absolutely not. Today is family day, which means they invite everyone's family to come in and hear speeches that we all wrote. I really hope that once my family hears my speech that they realize how far I've come and how much I've had to overcome. Who wants to go first? 
Karen, let's do it. Hi, my name is Karen Herring, and I'm working on managing my vocal folds and breathing. I do not hope for life. Sorry. Let me just get myself together. I'm not even using my technique, so I'm crying. <laughs> I face my fears and letting others know that I stutter. And most importantly, I've accepted it myself. Can't see my paper anymore. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, you have to do you have it time. You know that I will have hard times, and that even though I have techniques, there's going to be days where I'm not fluent. Okay. So you've accepted it. Right. Sometimes you're going to stutter, and it's okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. So we've accepted that too. Good. <laughs> the fact that I'm so confident with it now, and I've accepted it, it will help our relationship. I'm going to talk to them and say what I want to say because I'm happy with the way that I speak. I couldn't be more desperate for a paycheck right now. Hey, how are you doing? That was um, one do 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 during um if. You had an in the um job um oh oh I got a couple minutes I can talk to you. I feel like you had to give someone an opportunity somewhere, so we always say one out here, whatever. So you do you you think that my of it speech is going to be a um problem. Yeah, I could find, you know, something that we could work together, work it out, make sure everything worked out for the rest of my life. Right. So hey, thank you for your time. Right. Thank Thanks, man. <laughs> Hi, this and yeah, man, this it is I'm um, 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 first, and this is my um, first um, uh, day, 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 day. It's your first day? Okay, yep. I'm gonna get your shirt. All right, thank you. I got the job as a bartender. I feel so good, but at the same time, I'm going to be doing the hardest things I've ever done. How are you doing? Good, yeah. Are you nervous? All right. I'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. This is where you're going to do your work. If you're having a problem, say hold on. Uh, I'll be right back and come get me, and I'll take care of you. Okay. Can I get a uh, really spicy Bloody Mary? Sure. Hey, Corey. <laughs> I have no idea how to make a really spicy yes. she, she, she wants. She wants a Coke, 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 that's the kind of things we're, we're looking for here. Here you go. Yeah. Enjoy. I am really happy that they gave me a chance to prove myself. And uh, I'm going to work really hard to show them they made the right choice. Got it? This New York pageant. I can't believe I'm finally here. I'm gonna go up there and do the best that I can do. Good evening, I'm Amber Lindsay, Miss Buffalo. Good evening, I'm Elise Rooker, Miss Staten Island. Hello, everyone. I am Custom Lipsky, Miss Western. I was really prepared for everything. Talent, eating out, and dating soon. But the hardest part for me to prepare is my interview. <laughs> I think that's a 
but like the strength of question in your mind case, so your moderation was always looked at as a curse. Instead, I'm here today in my moderation to show everyone that I do stutter and that is okay. So I will move up. So I think in the past, people were afraid to show who they were if they had this. I'm not upset that I stuttered through my question. I was able to tell them about my stuttering and about who I am. Um, I'm so happy. No matter what happens, I'm really proud of what I did tonight. The winner of a $1,000 scholarship is Elizabeth Valdenza, Miss Empire Rose. Even though I didn't win, I'm really happy. I was able to tell everyone about my stuttering and tell them about who I am, but hopefully I'll all be back next year. Thank mm -hmm. you.